are here with the representatives of uh, University of Central Lancashire. Uh, it's based in Preston uh, in the UK. And we really want to get to know more about the university and what it offers to international students. Welcome, Stephanie. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, my role here is I'm the international officer for Kenya. So my role basically uh, in two words involves recruitment and partnership. Okay, probably you can just mention whether uh, you have an event that maybe you're organizing. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can just give us, share some details about that. Okay, so on Wednesday the 20th of March, we've organized for a postgraduate event and it's an information session. Mm. It will take place at the Sarova Panafric from 6.30 till about 8.30 p.m. And it's an opportunity for students who already have an undergraduate degree to explore options or master's programs in the UK and specifically with the University of Central Lancashire. So we'll be talking more about the master's courses, the partial scholarships which are on offer, what are the requirements. And we have a lecturer from the business school with us. So he will speak more about the business school, our MBA programs. So everyone is welcome. Thank you. Yeah. University of Central Lancashire is located in Preston, which is the northwest. So we're roughly between Liverpool and Manchester. Um, the good thing about our university is we are the only university in Preston. So, and we are central based, so we are in the city. So we're not competing with like London where there's about 15, 16, 17 other universities there as well. Preston is a great city. It's a mixture of um, city life and you've also got the countryside. So where our campus is based, it's a 15 minute walk into the city centre. Um, about the university, so uh, UCLan Preston is our main campus. We have another campus in Cyprus, Lanaka, and we deliver LLB courses and LLM law courses in Mauritius. Mm -hmm. So the two fully fledged campuses are UK and Preston, and then we have presence in Mauritius. What is the composition of the student population at the university? Um, so we have approximately 36,000 students all together. So that's home, EU and international students. Mm -hmm. We have about 6,000 international students from 120 different nationalities. Okay. So University of Central Lancashire, we're really popular for medicine. Um, we have a brilliant medicine course. We have law degrees. We also have business, our business school, um, MBA. We also are known for architecture and also engineering. So we've got a brand new engineering school opening up in September, multi-million pound, really nice. Um, and the students helped also with the planning and the building of the school. We have over 500 courses uh, and different schools. So anything from business, health related courses, mm -hmm art and design, um, law related courses. So we have quite a lot of courses on campus for the different needs of students ideally. Okay. What would uh, be the pull factor uh, for students to go to uh, Oakland? Preston is a smaller city compared to the likes of London or Manchester. Okay. So having said that, cost of living, if you're looking at accommodation, mm. buying your everyday food, it's very, very affordable. We have accommodation on campus, which then means students don't incur transport costs because they literally walk from the accommodation to class. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the factors that you know, students need to you know, have in place or just to have in mind when they want to study, let's say, in Oakland? Uh, what do you need to do to prepare in advance okay. or just to you know, give yourself a better chance of uh, getting to the university? Okay, so in terms of our application requirements, yes. usually, obviously, we will ask them, we will ask to see the KCAC results. Mm -hmm. So we are looking at the results slip. We also expect them to write an essay, which is called the personal statement essay. Mm -hmm. So this is just to briefly describe the qualification that they've done, whether KCAC or IGCAC. Mm -hmm. So you speak about co-curricular activities, any leadership roles that you've undertaken, mm -hmm and what's your intention. So for example, when you're applying for medicine, why are you applying for that particular course? What are some of the skills that you have that you think would make you a better or a better applicant generally? Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, now when they receive, when the university receives these kind of applications, what would they be considering? What kind of uh, content in terms of the application will rank higher compared to other applications? So obviously like all other universities, we're very keen on the grades because we cannot just take anyone on our courses. 
Uh, we also look at the all-rounded nature of our students. So have you been involved in volunteer work? Mm -hmm. Have you done a bit of work experience in that area? Mm -hmm. And what are some of the awards or certificates that you've worn mm -hmm. related to that um, course that you're applying for? So that would generally be an overview of what the panel, the admissions panel would be looking at. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maybe top three, four, five things that they need to have in mind as they're applying, as they look forward to studying the UK. Okay. Yeah. I would give the best advice I could give would be to plan in advance. Mm -hmm. um, when you think of applying, especially for the UK, it seems like a year is mm -hmm. quite a long time. Mm -hmm. But then when you have applied and you've been offered a place, then you need to get your visa, your accommodation, you know, some waterproof clothes. Mm -hmm. It rains mm -hmm. quite often <laughs> in the UK mm -hmm. as well. For our university, we have roughly 150 societies. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things to do as well. Mm -hmm. So I would say to come the week before you start class, mm -hmm. really soak up the atmosphere, enjoy it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, go make your new friends. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to do mm -hmm. as well as studying as well. It's not just purely studying mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. staying in the UK for okay. that part. I don't know if this is a university requirement or a government uh, requirement to have a certain amount in the bank account for a, a certain period. Okay. Uh, maybe you can just explain that, that kind of requirement. So that's actually a UK VI requirement, mm. which is the visa processing mm. team. Mm. So yes, they are required to show a certain amount of money in their name or in the parents' names. Mm. Um, the amount of money is one year tuition fees and one year maintenance. Mm. So generally, this is just to show that you can actually afford because we don't want a scenario where a student is coming to the UK and they're either being stranded or for one reason or another and now being kicked out of class. It's a waste of time, a waste of money generally in terms of the visa cost, the flight cost. Okay, what, what kind of support do you offer the international students? Oh, we have a lot of support. We have a library open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We also have um, in the location in the library it's called the I. Mm -hmm. So it's full student support. So for visas, mm -hmm. um, any jobs, any issues if they're probably a bit homesick mm -hmm. or they need help trying to find a certain item. Mm -hmm. um, if they're studying with the course, mm -hmm. if they're studying probably with a language barrier, mm -hmm. their English might be perfect. Mm -hmm. But obviously in Preston you can get a lot of different accents as well. Okay. So if they're just struggling in that part mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And we have accommodation they're always available okay. and we have security guards on site for accommodation as well. Mm -hmm. We also have um, a UCLAN bus mm -hmm. so they can go around to other cities like Liverpool, Manchester mm -hmm. for the day and it's really cheap as well. Mm -hmm. okay. So they get to see the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, you've come to study but there's also the issue of, you know, life after after campus. What are the job prospects? Where, what's your record as a university? Is there a demand uh, for, you know, the graduates from uh, UCLN? Okay, so for the stats at the moment, roughly 95.5% of our graduates are employed within six months after finishing their course. Mm -hmm. um, as I said at the beginning, we are the only university in Preston, so we have a lot of business links as well. Mm -hmm. And we also have a careers office. Mm -hmm. So they are brilliant, they're really good. So they will go in for any students, UK and international. They will go in and do mini interviews with you, so mm -hmm. you know exactly what to expect in mm -hmm. the UK, what they're going to ask for you. If you have a certain company that you're interested in, they can help set it up between you. Mm. They can help with your CV. Um, and they can also just generally, if you want to do a part-time job. Mm -hmm. So international students on their visa will be allowed to work 20 hours per week okay. during studying. Mm -hmm. So you can go in and ask for advice and say, hey, I want to work, I don't own a coffee shop. I don't mm -hmm. want to think about anything while I'm studying. And mm -hmm. they can help you with that mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to do something within your field of mm -hmm. expertise, mm -hmm. they can also help with that. Mm -hmm. But they're really good. They're mm -hmm. really, really good. Um, and we have a lot of careers fairs as well. So we have big name companies. So we've also had students that have worked with NASA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we do BAE systems as well. So mm -hmm. the engineering side. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of opportunities there. Mm -hmm. um, the university will not say, here's a job, take it. Of course. And mm -hmm. um, the student does have to be proactive. Mm -hmm. But a lot of them are, and it's just, it's when they know they're there, then they're great, they're perfect. And mm. yeah, it's a big startup scene as well in Preston. Mm. So we have a lot of students really going towards that as well mm. and being taken on afterwards and tend to stay afterwards in the UK after they finish mm. studying. Great. Hi, uh, my name is, uh, is Mohammed, and uh, I am the international lead uh, in the business school. I look after international recruitment, international partnership and uh, 
just you know getting international students onto the campus at Uclan and both at the business school as well. Okay, uh, just tell us more, some details about the business school, uh, what it offers, and some of the programs that you have. We've got both uh, undergraduate programs, we've mm. got pos uh, postgraduate programs as well mm -hmm. within areas of ma marketing management, human resource management, mm -hmm. uh, accounting and finance, all the normal disciplines that you would find within a business school. Uh, we do have PhD um, programs as well. Mm -hmm. Students could do their PhD with us over three and a half, three years. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the most popular program at the moment in the business school is the MBA program, mm -hmm. which basically gives you an opportunity to come to the UK for a 24 months period. Mm -hmm. Students would do the first year all of mm -hmm. the taught modules uh, and within the second year, if mm -hmm. they can secure a placement with our support, mm -hmm. with our help, mm -hmm. with our, uh, the, uh, the connections that we have with companies in, in Preston, Manchester and, uh, and within the UK we'd be able to help them to secure mm. a placement. What, what makes the, you know, the MBA at, at Oakland different from what other universities in the UK are offering? We are best known for engaging with industry. Uh, we are ranked in, the university is mm. ranked uh, number one in the Northwest for business startups, and we're ranked third in the UK for business startups mm. as well. Mm -hmm. As you're well aware that businesses normally tend to do well if they can survive the first three years, mm. then they will survive thereafter. Yeah. Yeah. So in terms of business startups, we are ranked number one in the okay. Northwest and number yeah. three in the country. Okay. You also have a program where you, uh, uh, you, know, you take students on international trips, kindly explain that um, we are uh, all schools get a, a small budget called the international travel bursary where we take students abroad we've taken students uh, to China to South Africa to Germany to Cyprus uh, we haven't taken students down to, to Kenya yet uh, and that is the next aim as what I'm what I'm trying to do yeah. is to get students down to Kenya yeah. and just to, to, to witness what it's like to be in Africa yeah. uh, what it's like to be in Kenya yeah. and what I'm trying to do is to get students to work on projects with charities with yeah. orphanages yeah. and just with the businesses out in Kenya yeah. What uh, I did uh, uh, about five years ago is we introduced uh, a program called Journey to the East. So basically it's about 24 to 30 students every year go to China mm -hmm. just to experience the culture, mm -hmm. to work with students in the Chinese schools at mm -hmm. the Chinese universities, work with companies in China as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. uh, the program has grown in its profile. It's recognized by the Chinese Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. It's recognized by the UK Trade and Investment mm -hmm. Agency in mm -hmm. the UK as well. Mm -hmm. So it has grown over the five years. Mm -hmm. We've recently launched, launched the Uclan Young uh, Enterprise Challenge in Kenya. And mm -hmm. the whole idea is to grow that and raise that profile of that program mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the level that we've done in China. Okay. We've got four schools that are taking part in it. Mm -hmm. um, they've raised, or what we've basically done is we've given them a small bit of money and they've had to raise or uh, increase that amount. Mm -hmm. um, the returns has been ex uh, exceptionally good. I'm very optimistic that we can build mm -hmm. on the building blocks that we've laid this mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So definitely I'm optimistic that mm -hmm. we can definitely grow the program in the next year or two. Okay. Uh, great. What's the input mm -hmm. in the students to make them marketable, to make them uh, in demand outside in their job market? Uh, employability mm -hmm. is one of the big items within the business school. Mm -hmm. Enterprise is also a big item mm -hmm. within the school. Yeah. Universities has been criticized for producing graduates, but they don't have the soft skills. That's true. So what we done was we had a complete review of what we did within the business school and we actually changed the name from the Lancashire Business School to the Lancashire School of Business and Enterprise. Now the focus on enterprise is widely um, uh, spread across all of the courses. Mm -hmm. It's all of the enterprise activities are uh, embedded within the modules. Mm -hmm. There are standalone modules on the enterprise as well, mm -hmm. starting your own business as well. Okay. So we hope that whatever we do for students in terms of exposing them internationally, mm -hmm. in terms of embedding employability and enterprise into the syllabus, actually gives them a much more broader uh, appeal to their employers out mm -hmm. in the UK mm -hmm. and internationally as well. Great. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> <I'm> to enroll. <laughs> Thank you.